Hello there and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at computing forces on a moving object. So again, as with static, we're going to go into case summary and we're going to make a note of the mk value for the sphere, which is 12. So we're going to click on compute forces on the right hand side there. And you can see that we've got a few different options for our file type. We're going to use CSV as it's easy to use within Excel. Um, and we're going to apply this to MK12. We're going to have a file name of floating force. I'm going to click export on the left hand side of the bottom there. So we're going to click OK there. And we're just going to show you where this file is found. So we nav navigate to our floating sphere cases out folder where all of the output files from the simulation are. And if we scroll down to CSV files or Microsoft Excel CSV we can see our floating force file has been exported to there. We're now going to open up Excel. We're going to find our floating force CSV file. So we'll go into our floating sphere case, as that's the, uh, the case that this is done on. We're going to show all files. We're going to search for floating force, which we have there at the top and open that. We're now going to select the entire A column. We're going to click on data at the top there and we're going to click on text to columns. We're going to tick the delimited box. We're going to tick semicolon and that will separate all of the data up depending on where the semicolon is. We're going to click on time and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to hold shift and click on the bottom value. Go back up to the top. We're going to hold control and click on forces and then go all the way down to the bottom and again holding shift click on the bottom value. Insert, Click insert at the top, click on the XY scatter chart and we're going to go for scatter with straight lines. And there we have our forces on the moving face. If you have any further questions please refer to the Jules Physics forum or please don't hesitate to contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.